Anna Brnovic, Prime Minister of Serbia. Um, you talked about the, Serb the, the Pandora's box being opened by recognition of Kosovo by so many countries, including the US and a lot of EU countries. How can that ever be resolved? It's a, it's, a, it's a very good question. It's also a very, very difficult question. And to be honest, I don't know. Uh, Serbia sees this as a very straightforward issue. And we kept saying that, you know, this is, this is the clear breach of the international law. If you do this, then you are opening the Pandora's box. And at the end of the day, if you do not have international law and clear standards, then what you get is, you know, countries picking and choosing between, you know, nations, different people, who to recognize, who not to recognize, who has that right, who doesn't have that right. And, and now with this, uh, the whole situation that's happening in Spain, it's becoming uh, more clear than ever. But although it was clear also in the in the case of, you know, Crimea, uh, you know, and uh, other 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 instances uh, such as South Ossetia, Serbia is recognizing the international law. So you see that although we are very close to Russia, there are friends, there are uh, important trading partners. We never uh, recognize the, the independence of Crimea. We respect uh, uh, the territorial integrity of Ukraine because we think it's important. But if might is right, which could be so in history, do you see international law being adjusted? Well, that's certainly possible, but it's not adjusted yet and it will be a very complex issue how to adjust it and if you are adjusting it uh, then you are again as i said regardless of how you adjust it you are opening pandora's box because if you you know there's you can't you know there is either it's either this or that and if you're recognizing one you should recognize everyone and we think that that's really not the best policy to move forward <laughs> it means we're going to have continue to have a pretty difficult job but good luck with it thank you very much thank indeed, you very Prime much Minister. thank you thank you